2.3 million, 2.3 million gone, burnt in fire. Sup guys, today a quick rant on the 3D printing industry. We are looking at a Kickstarter project that had a huge success, but with the wrong team went right down the drain. We can learn many lessons from this campaign and apply or not apply them in our 3D printing business in the future. I'm Richard and this is 3D Printing for Money, the channel that helps you make wiser choices in 3D printing. Just to get everyone at speed, in 2016 the company Olo 3D launched Ono on Kickstarter, a resin printer that promised to use your smartphone to cure layers, at a price too good to be true of $99. Back then it was perceived as an awesome idea and the project got back it for $2.3 million. I mean, a huge success for crowdfunding. But today, do you own one of these printers? Or even, did you ever see one of these printers? Absolutely not. The printer was never put in final production nor delivered to customers. And even worse, in the last days there was an official announcement on the Kickstarter page stating something on the line, sorry backers, we finished all the money you gave us. We won't deliver the printer nor refund the money. Project closed. Officially, it means that thousands of people took a leap of faith in that company and saw their $100 vanished for a product never delivered. The thing gets even weirder because when the inventor got questioned with what the heck are you all doing, he promptly said, oh, backers should know that when they contribute to a project, they might get nothing. Bro, for real, how much trust would you give to someone responding this way? In business to survive, you have to do exactly the opposite of these champs. Let's analyze the worst three points of this project. First, we have one big red flag. When price is extremely tempting, usually behind the curtain there is something fishy. As for filament, if a spool looks very cheap, well, it might be so. Something got to give. Quality, accuracy, customer service, or all of them. Secondly, this 3D printer was a terrific new composite, but with zero, zero real world testing. Seeing a printer in a video is not the same thing of having dozens of testers. I never saw one of these printers printing, nor have certainty that the prints showed off came from that printer. These two points alone are a huge no-no for me in a purchasing situation. And third, the company was all over the place with wrong decisions with suppliers, promising after three years from the start, first printers and delivery. And after five, five years, not a single printer delivered and went short of capital, boldly stating, we need fresh money to continue the project. Where did the 2.3 million go? I want to know, you are telling us you made 2.3 million vanish in mistakes? Three major lessons here. First, when something is marketed way below market possible value, it is fishy. They didn't fully test the printer before running the campaign. If they had a running printer, they would already deliver them. In our case, when bringing a product to the market, test your product extensively. 3D printed plastic is cheap compared to other production methods. Second, when the same inventors don't take responsibility of their stuff, it means they are money oriented and not customer oriented. On the line of, give me your money and we will see. Oh, refunds are not an option. In your venture, be accountable. If one of your customers have a problem with the product, be responsible and don't ghost them. It is hard to recover from bad reviews and even harder to recover from bad word of mouth. Third, there are thousands of people burned by this campaign. I'm sure they feel scammed. How much trust will these inventors get in everything they will do in the future? I say close to nail. For us, this is a big lesson. Be honest with your customers and set limits for your products. Better a customer less than 10 refunds due to poor business execution. All these lessons are more about good business practices than mere 2D printing, but I think that some things must be addressed. Thompson Landerer is right on Kickstarter projects, and my thoughts are on the same line. Because I see Kickstarter projects 
more like a lottery than a website for new and cheap stuff. You don't have control over the project finances, nor the product quality, or as we saw, the total lack of delivery of the final product. Next time scouting Kickstarter, be careful on what you pick and make some research on the company that wants your money. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you hated this video, extrude that dislike button. What do you think about 3D printing related products on Kickstarter? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next one.